in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to add all these images into your tile set for 3D, for so grid map, I suppose you can say. So here on the left, we have a bunch of scenes or um, objects, right? So if I drag them out, I have like a banner. I can kind of zoom in. We have more banners. I have tiles, etc. And so I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a very fast library as a scene. So the first thing you need to do is create a uh, new node as a library, and I'm going to call it library. So it's saved as a scene here. It's called library.scene. I can rename it to library. It doesn't really matter. Let's save that and let's add a few tiles. So the way this works is essentially we're going to have to make things kind of the same size. So you have to have a default tile set or tile size. So let's say this guy. This guy, I think is 16 by 16 or so. Let's just kind of give it a random number, but there are some that are a little bigger. So that's another tile. Here we go, big spike, I think, yeah. So as you can see, this tile is a little bigger. So you have to make sure that the tile size is the same. So in this case, we're gonna delete this guy. We don't want him. Let's add one more. Let's add, no, not that one. So here we can see big, it says big. Let's add a regular one. That one is two tiles. Two tiles large. There we go. Here's another one. Oh, that's the same one as the other one. Here we go. There we go. So essentially what you want to do when you're setting up the tile set for the grid map is you want to just line them up together and that's it. And that's pretty much all you have to do. So we have to just drag them in, drop them into our library and that's it. So next up, we're going to just exit this and let's minimize this. And now what we can do is go to the scene on the top left. We'll go to export and we're going to export as a mesh library. And then as you can see here, I have library. So I'm going to make a library one to show you a different example. And now when I save, I can go here and let's hide all these. Let's add a grid map, a completely new grid map. Let's go into our grid map and take our library that we just exported and drag it in. And as you can see, it's automatically made these for us. In fact, if we just go to the library and go to the item, it'll show us the tiles, all the tiles that we have individually. And it'll show us this, the size and everything. So now we can go back to our grid map and actually start drawing. So you can start drawing whatever we want or uh, shift, hold, click control F to fill. So control F, uh, shift, drag. That's how you do that. And then control F to fill. If you're curious about all the different commands, you can go to the grid map on the top right here. And then you'll see a bunch of different things. So we have cursor rotate, um, fill selection, clear selection, cut selection, duplicate. There's a bunch of things that you can do. Paste selects, etc. So that's how you kind of work with grid map. All right. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that sub button down below as I'm always creating new videos and trolls for you guys. And of course, if you have any recommendations, leave a comment down below, or if you guys want, you can make sure that your voice is heard. Definitely check out my socials down below. I have a Discord that's always growing and I would love to be able to chat with you guys and see what's going on in your own lives. I have a few other links down below that you should check out, my Steam page, my Patreon, if you wanna check that out, and of course, my Twitch. Um, I, I kind of stream every now and then, but it's hard. I hope to see you guys around. Till next time. Bye-bye.